Hi and welcome back to a brand new NGCS gaming channel video. My name is AC54 and today we're going to be talking about what I would like to see in the future of Grand Theft Auto content wise. So this is going to be a video um, basically about the five DLCs I would like to see in the future of Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto Online. So starting off the first DLC I would like to see is a drug dealing DLC. Now, if any of you played uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, probably very few of you did, it wasn't very popular, um, it was, I'm pretty sure it was for PS2 or PSP and DS, so it wasn't very popular, but if any of you have, then you'd know that a lot of the, the main thing in it was drug dealing, and it was like really, you made a lot of money from it on that game. Um, you, I mean, you didn't even have to do missions, you could just make millions from the drug dealing in that game. So I think that would be really cool to see in this, uh, Grand Theft Auto. I think maybe, like, um, if any of you know about the Bull Shark Testosterone in this game, basically what you do is you phone Brucey e. Kibbutz from Grand Theft Auto 4, and he gives you this special drug thing that I'm pretty sure it makes you harder to kill, so he makes you stronger, and it also makes you, um, it gives out more damage when you shoot somebody. So I'd really like to see something like that. Um, maybe say other players could sneak up and attack your drug deals and steal your product and stuff like that. So kind of like a little bit of heist in there. Um, maybe the police busted it, maybe, and I'll talk about this in a second, but... Um, maybe say the police could bust it, or say, now let's get into the second DLC, a Cops and Crooks DLC. Now maybe in that Cops and Crooks DLC, one of the things you could do if you're a police officer is bust the other player's drug deals, so that might be something cool. Um, another thing that would be awesome in a LSPD police DLC is maybe say... You got the taser from single player. Um, maybe you could get like a Magnum, a Glock, something, some new guns like that. Obviously, a police outfit. Um, a whole bunch of stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool. Um, I think it'd be cool if, like, maybe you could pull over random pedestrians on the street and issue parking tickets and. Um, if you issue a certain amount of parking tickets, maybe you make more money that day. Um, I think it'd be cool if maybe you could bust other players while they're doing a heist. Something like, something like that. I think that would be absolutely awesome. Now, the third DLC I would like to see is a retro-style DLC. So I want, I'm talking about, like, really old, um, 1950, 1980, even like Wild West style guns, clothes, and cars. Or, I guess, in the Wild West you could say horses, but we're never probably going to get those. Anyways, though, so, for, exa for example, guns, I would like to see the Colt 1911. Um, it's probably one of my favorite guns. Um, maybe you could add in a Wild West style revolver or a really old-fashioned looking rifle. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, another thing I would like to see, for example, like, clothes-wise, maybe, like, some 1950s-style, um, L.A. Noir suits, so, like, the fedoras, like, what I'm wearing right now, except more, like, old-style, um, and maybe for cars, you could add in, like, those really old-fashioned 1950s coupes and convertibles and the really old Corvettes and stuff like that. Um, and the last thing I would like to see is um, in that DLC, I, I think probably just um, something from Vice City, like Hawaiian shirts or something cool like that, because I love Hawaiian shirts from Vice City. Uh, maybe like a mob boss suit from Vice City, something cool like that. So, now with our next DLC that I want to see, we're going to be talking about a biker DLC. Now, this is a DLC that I've always thought would be great to add in. So, I'm talking like 
if you played The Lost and Damned, a DLC from Grand Theft Auto 4, then you'd know that there was just a whole bunch of choppers in that game. So I think that would be a great thing to add in, because um, there's a whole bunch of them that Rockstar could add in. Not only that, maybe you could add in a new beard, so like a really big, um, like, uh... Just a really big beard, like, not like the ones that we have now, because they're just all, like, trimmed stubbles, kind of. I mean, like, a big, hairy, like, hangs down past your chin beard. Um, one more, or a couple more things I'd like to see in that update were maybe, like, um, say the sawn-off shotgun from The Lost and the Damned. Um, that was a pretty cool thing. And... I'm not talking, I mean, uh, probably a lot of you are thinking, well, isn't there already Sonic Shotgun? There is, but it's different. It's like, um, it just has the bar clipped off. I mean, like a, um, the one, the double barrel kind of shotgun. So I'd like to see something cool like that. Um, I think that would be a great expansion to Grand Theft Auto Online, or Grand Theft Auto in general, and I really am looking forward and hoping that Rockstar does something like that. And the last DLC I would like to see is the Casino DLC. A lot of people are speculating that it's going to be coming soon. I really hope so. There's been some leaked uh, stuff about uh, something about like how poker is going to be coming and blackjack and um, I think they said slot machines and stuff like that. And I'd really, really, really like to see that in Grand Theft Auto Online. As you know, there's a casino is being used and it's by it's right by the Vinewood racetrack so if they would add then that in then that would be absolutely amazing so anyways thank you for watching this video on the NGCS gaming channel um, once again this is your host AC 54 I hope you enjoyed the video if you did feel free to hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video later guys